Okay, in this video I want to give a really simple introduction to series and parallel circuits. So if you have never learned anything before about series and parallel circuits, this video is for you. Before we move on, I just want you to notice the weird spelling of the word parallel. Um, it's got two L's here, so this is the correct spelling of the word parallel. So what are series and parallel circuits? A series circuit is made of one loop and it has no branches. So if you see a circuit and it's made of one loop and it has no branches, that is a series circuit. So I've got some examples here. We've got um, a circuit with two cells and two bulbs. Now, these components are all in a complete loop, a simple loop. There are no branches. There are no branches where the current is going to split and go one way or another way. It's just a single loop, no branches, it's a series circuit. Here's another circuit drawn on its side. It's got a single cell and a motor. Once again, these components are in a single loop with no branches. It's a series circuit. And a final example, this has got loads of components. We've got three cells. We've got a closed switch, a bulb, a motor, and a bulb. But they're all in one single loop. So this is a series circuit. Now, if you want to look at um, an animated model of a series circuit, then this model has got um, a single cell here, and it's got two bulbs. And you can also see these little blobs moving around. These are supposed, supposed to sort of represent electrons flowing around in the circuit. And as you can see, if you were to follow an electron, it would take you quite a long time. But if you were to follow an electron around a series circuit, it would flow around all parts of the series circuit, get back to where it came from, and just keep going as long as the current was flowing. Okay. Now, depending on how much you know about current, this may or may not make sense to you, but if I measure the current in different parts of a series circuit, you'll find something interesting. The current in this part of the circuit is 0 0.45 amps. The current in this part of the circuit is 0 0.45 amps. In this part of the circuit is 0 0.45. In this part is 0 0.45. In fact, all around the circuit, the current is 0 0.45 amps. So there is a rule for series circuits that the current is the same all around a series circuit. What about parallel circuits? So if a series circuit has no branches, a parallel circuit has branches. What do we mean by that? Well, let's look at some examples. Okay. Here we've got a parallel circuit with two cells and two bulbs, but notice how it's different from the series circuit with two cells and two bulbs. There's a difference. This circuit has got branches. It's got a branch here. Let me just highlight the branch. So it's got a branch here and a branch here where current can split up or current can join back together. This is what makes something a parallel circuit, having branches. So if a circuit has got branches, then it is a parallel circuit. So this is a parallel circuit. Here we've got a parallel circuit with two cells and three motors, all connected up in parallel with each other. And there are lots of branches. There are two branches here and here, and two branches here and here. Here we have another circuit with two cells, a motor, and a bulb in parallel. Um, has it got branches? Yes, there's a branch here and a branch here, so this is a parallel circuit. To look at an animated parallel circuit, I've got one here. So this circuit has got branches. It's got a branch here on the right and a branch here on the left. And you can see that at this branch, the current is dividing up between these two branches. And at this branch, the current is combining back together. Okay. So if this circuit has branches, it is a parallel circuit. If it has no branches, it is a series circuit. Now, if I were to put an ammeter in different places in this circuit, you'll see that here I get 1.35 amps, here I get 0.45, here I get 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.45, 1.35. So the current in a parallel circuit is different in different parts of the circuit. This is not the same rule as for a series circuit. In a series circuit, the current is the same everywhere, but in a parallel circuit, the current is different in different parts of a parallel circuit, or the current can be different. Sometimes the current is the same in different parts of a parallel circuit, 
but the current can be different different in different parts of a parallel circuit so hopefully that's a good introduction a really basic introduction but having watched this video you should be able to identify a series or a parallel circuit by looking at it you should be able to classify circuits as series or parallel and you should remember that current is the same all around a series circuit but it doesn't have to be in a parallel circuit